Do you never get any victory royales? Are you stuck at the same rank and can't run cut? Or do you simply just want to throw your mouse in the bin after you miss all of your shots? I'm TechFi and in this video I'm going to be discussing why maybe you're not the problem and it's actually your gaming mouse. So guys, let's get into this. If you enjoyed this video and you're not yet subscribed then make sure you click the subscribe button down below. I think what a lot of people don't realise is that their gaming mouse is potentially too big for them. Once upon a time this was a problem for me and I think a lot of people have this as well. They find their mouse comfortable and therefore see it as ideal, but actually they're not performing as well as they could be in game. I'm testing the Death Adder V2 at the moment. The big ergonomic shape kind of forces me into a palm grip. That's really comfortable for just tasks and even when gaming it feels comfortable, but actually I know I perform better when I can get a claw grip on a smaller mouse and have much more control. I've personally experienced this with having too big of a mouse. When I first built my computer, I soon saved up and bought a Logitech G502. Eventually though, I'd had it a long time, the feet were worn out and the cable was fraying. So I decided to buy a new mouse. I looked at what the CSGO pros at the time were using and a lot of them were using the Zowie mice. And it came down to I do I want a Zowie EC1A or EC2A. So I was doing some research online and the EC2A was the smaller mouse. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm a bit older now. I don't need a small mouse. I'm not a child anymore. And I bought an EC1A but I soon noticed that actually I wasn't performing even as well as I was with my G502. And I didn't understand this was, you know, the mouse the CSGO pros were using, and I was playing worse. Then when I began reviewing mice on my YouTube channel, and I tested the SteelSeries Rival 3, a mouse which I thought was absolutely tiny back then, but compared to a lot of mice, it's not even that small, I was performing so much better. At the time, I was playing a bit of Fortnite, and I instantly noticed that I could get a nice claw grip on the mouse, and I was just aiming so much better, performing better. I'm not here to tell you that you're wrong, but I think it's worth considering when you're getting your next mouse, actually how big are your hands. I know my hands are about 17 centimeters by eight and a half centimeters, and I'd need noticeably bigger hands before some of these bigger ergonomic mice and just bigger mice in general would actually be ideal for me. But I think the message to take away from this video is comfortable doesn't necessarily mean you'll play good. I have the luxury of having quite a few mice now, and I use the Logitech G502 for absolutely everything except gaming, which I use a smaller mouse, maybe the final mouse, or just a different one that I'm using or testing at the time. If you've got a big mouse at the moment, I definitely recommend trying a small mouse if you get the chance. And similarly, if you've got a small mouse and you think you're not perfectly happy with it, just go for it and try a big mouse, maybe that'll be better for you. Something else that can really make you better at gaming is having a mouse bungee, so make sure you go watch my mouse bungee hacks video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.